All right, guys. Um, a lot of you have been asking me to do for Joe by Ren. Um, this is uh, apparently this is about uh, Joe, his uh, his friend who uh, you know took his own life. I don't know any of the situation around it, um, other than than basically what I just said. So uh, let's let's get right into it. Uh, live performance video for Joe Ren. I've heard those notes before. I can't I can't put my finger on it. A similar note pattern, not those notes, but It's hard to take off from the ground when your wings are cut Your stomach burns when you're drinking from an empty cup You know the entire ocean came from my tear ducts I see the world through Fibonacci sequences and double dutch I guess there's some that's born lucky there's some that's not I tried to cut away my bitterness Hatchet job I locked my youth inside the trunk Inside the pickup truck Then dumped that whole thing over that same bridge The night you jumped I think about that sometimes Vividly What it felt like to look down and see tranquility One sudden movement in a world of possibility Only one movement to expose our fragility Wow I'm gonna rewind it a little bit guys I The people who are on this channel that I if you don't like it, uh, whatever. Let's go. Whole thing over that same bridge the night you jumped. I think about that sometimes, vividly. What it felt like to look down and see tranquility. One sudden movement in a world of possibility. Only one movement to expose our fragility. So he, he's talking about, I wonder what it was like to essentially feel that tranquility. So he said his friend jumped. Um, and he's saying i wonder what it like to feel uh, it was like to feel that tranquility like when he would jumped off and was going down i think that's what he's referring to in the world of possibility only one movement to expose our fragility i fucking miss you and i miss myself i miss thinking we were indestructible as hell i miss chilling by the pier cave and kicking back with callum hugo justin sega stevie and the fucking lads i miss missing that i numb myself to close the gap i never even call them up distance is my plaster cast to tell the truth the day you jump my childhood jump too but i still can't find wow. an angle all i find is missing you man i miss you <sighs> yeah i just got goosebumps um so it sounds like he was a childhood friend of of Ren's, um, and he's saying when you jumped, my childhood jumped too. And he's saying he hasn't even contacted. Uh, apparently, it's it sounds like he's saying he hasn't even contacted like his friends uh, that were in that friend group that he misses hanging out with them. Um, let's keep going. With all my rhymes, I picture running five minutes quicker. I'm right on time. I picture pulling you back over the edge, and then we're crying and holding you, my brother, and telling you that it's fine, not the way that it worked. I was late like a jerk. There's not a day where I can find a way to break from the hurt. Your body missing, so we never got to wave to the hearse. I hope you're listening. I love you, man. I miss you, absurd fuck. <sighs> This is my first time seeing Ren do like piano, I think. Um, and wow, wow. Like it's not just like the still Dre instrumental where it's like five plucks and then you change with the note occasionally. Like, wow, Ren, wow. Anyway, let, let's keep going. Too absurd, fuck. <laughs> And 
another domino it falls Across the way another's born How you're supposed to raise a child And give it courage from a storm In a world that is confusing Contradictions pave our flaws Some will say we're only human Others judge us for our flaws Some get born in sheets of So he's, once again, one theme with Ren that I really appreciate is his acknowledgement and expression um, of his perception of the duality of people. Um, you know, some say we're only human and then some people will also will judge you for that same thing. So there's there's uh, multiple different types of people in the world. But he's saying there, there, this, there are people who will be like, look, we're only human. We've all made mistakes. We all. And then there's some people who, um, you know, they I don't know if they think they're perfect or whatever, but they take the judgmental route. Um let, let's keep going. Some will say we're only human. Others judge us for our flaws. Some get born in sheets of satin. Some get by in tattered clothes Some will die before they live That's just how the story goes But for those of us still with us Who reside inside our hearts Tell them proudly how you feel And for those of us who aren't Freckled angels stand strong Freckled angels live on So is he saying Tell those that you're proud of that all right, guys. Sorry, had a quick interruption. Um, let's get right back into it. I'm gonna rewind it a little bit here. But for those of us still with us who reside inside our hearts, tell them proudly how you feel. And for those of us who aren't, freckled angel stand. So, I'm not entirely sure what to make of that one. Um, yeah, it's it seems like he's he's saying um. For those of us who those for those who are still with us, tell them proudly how you feel and those of us who aren't maybe it's about to come. Let's let's go. <laughs> and for those of us who aren't Freckled angels stand strong Freckled angels live on Freckled angels climb higher Freckled angels still inspire Freckled angels won't forget you Teach me to live my life better 13 years and still I miss you Now my wings are missing feather Otherwise I'd come and join you But for now I'm here on earth Stuck inside this mortal body But for everything it's worth Made me braver, made me wiser Made me stronger, made me true Made me face the world with courage And that's all because of you Wow Freckled angels laugh the hardest And their hearts, they are the largest So did Joe have freckles then? <laughs> um, so... Let, let's keep going Laugh the hardest And their hearts, they are the largest With their wings, they fly the farthest So I know you're gonna be okay Freckled angels live the longest And their minds, they are the strongest Oh, their friends, they are the fondest So I know you're gonna be okay Wow, man So I don't know um, I don't know how old Ren was when this happened or um, the context behind it, but but I can tell that this obviously, um, <laughs> sorry about this, um, I can tell that this obviously affected him in a major way. Um, I've, uh, so I, I've experienced something similar. I wasn't a super close, it wasn't um, like a really tight knit uh, where we were childhood friends and then um, they took their own life, but um uh, she was a friend and, um, it, it really blows a hole through your life. And, um, there's no, like when it happens, you, you realize immediately, oh, they're not coming back. Everything that was said to them, everything that was done to them, everything they said to you, all of that is final now. There's no room for uh, repair. There's no room for um, explanation. I mean, sometimes there is in those situations, but um, it's definitely an incredible, dif uh, incredibly difficult thing um, to deal with. Um, but as always, remember, pain is temporary. Um, and and now some people might get mad at that. The point being, pain is temporary. 
as long as you're you're trying to work through it um and not just trying as long as you're you're making a commitment to yourself at some point once the shock settles um because there's the shock factor and that you, it kind of takes a while to come back to earth or to come back into your body and back into your mind and like r realize that this is reality um personally for me i i have like a shock factor and then after that shock factor i i am like i feel like i'm back into the world and then i'm like okay well what do i do now like what is what is wrong like what's going on within me that i need to fix um or or work on um because especially things like that it's like it's one thing it's comparative suffering so it's a crappy game um but it's like if if somebody gets hit by a bus it's a little bit different than if they get if they take their own life if if somebody gets um if somebody is 10 years old and they die it's it feels different than if they're 45 or 95 like there there are all these different factors so i don't like to do the comparative suffering game but for me definitely um in those situations there's usually a big shock factor and um it's a very difficult thing to recover from i mean i i still don't know how to make sense of the situation that that happened um in my world um because it was just you know they they she she took her own life and didn't want to be around and um they you know i, I won't go into details about it but um there wasn't a clear i mean like i knew she was very troubled like we would talk uh, a lot about like our our um mutual struggles with um you know mental health and whatnot um and it, it helped a lot and we had a lot of mutual friends um but uh yeah it's one of those things where when it happens it's like it's it's hard to deal with um i won't bang on too much about it guys um but you guys take care uh stay safe take care of your loved ones wherever you're watching the video from